What is up everybody, it is Wick here, and I am shipping out some items I've sold on eBay overnight, and then we're going to head out. First item I got here is this Denver Nuggets hat. I paid 25 cents, maybe 50 cents, I can't remember which rummage sale, uh, the hats were 25 and 50. Uh, either way, a great deal, and I sold this hat for $70, and I, I probably priced it way too low. Um, <laughs> I didn't know what to price it at really, because I'm looking at other similar sports specialities hats and a lot of them new were selling under a hundred dollars and this one's pre-owned with a little bit of wear so you know i'm like yeah 69.99 that's a good price sold within three hours international order to canada and i uh, just kind of spied a little bit on the buyer and he is another reseller it looks like he sells vintage clothing on ebay so obviously he's probably going to sell this hat for more i can't complain too much because you know i only paid a quarter for this so here we have this Planet of the Apes pop figure. I picked up about 12 pop figures last year at a yard sale. Some of them were worth more than others, and uh, some of them were worth like $50. This one I sold for $15 though, paid $3 a piece for them. Next I sold this Jitterbug flip phone for $69. At this point I don't remember what I paid for these. Got them at Best Buy, I think around 20 some dollars. This is the last one, I've sold a few of them. Murder, She Wrote, the complete fifth season, sealed. I paid 25 cents for this at a yard sale. I sold it for $14.95. It's going to ship media mail. Here I sold a couple of these suspension trainers. I got these at Walmart about two years ago now, and they've just been sitting. Have it sold. Paid $3 a piece for them. Uh, I got $40. Here we have some of this Aeroflex line blades, and I sold three of these for $20. Paid around a dollar a piece for these at Lowe's during their big clearance event recently. And then finally, I got these peanut figures I picked up at a thrift store for $0.50, cents, and I sold them for $18. So we are at the first stop this morning, a yard sale I stopped at, and unfortunately there weren't very many garage sales happening today. Memorial Day weekend, it just seems like every year there's less and less. I figured there'd be more, but you know what? Only this one, so this is where I'm stopping. I could have drove further, hit some stragglers, but um, I just went thrifting instead. So yeah, what are we looking at here? Some books, there's some Harry Potter books, and over here we got some video games. Uh, they're priced $8 a piece, and I didn't see anything that was really worth it. Some quick set door handles are priced a bit too high. I went $5 a piece for the Harry Potter books, which is a bit too high as well. But I did end up picking them up because they sold them to me for $20 for all of them. There's another book set I picked up and then even another one that was, if it would have been complete, would have been good. Uh, would have been about hundred bucks that Chosen. I don't remember what book set that's from, but yeah, that could have been good. Unfortunately, they only had like four of the, five of the books. But we are at a Goodwill now and you can see we're already looking around. There's some furniture, there's a little Sony unit back here. It was priced a bit too high, it's nothing special. So I just went ahead and passed on that. And there's a lot to look at. I was a little bit overwhelmed. There's just so much going on and I was, a lot of stuff you're probably looking at and like, hey, why didn't you pick that up? Price too high, damaged, uh, missing pieces, that respirator there, you can't really sell those on eBay, but the battery inside's worth uh, about $45, but they wanted $13 for it. Uh, didn't know if the battery had been used, so yeah, I just left it. It was an Auric XL. Those can sell for decent, but they wanted 15, 15 or 20 for it. I don't remember now. I still got one of those I need to list. You see that Panasonic up there uh, in the box? I That was not new. There's another unit here, this GE Vintage. Not worth picking up by itself, it's $7.99, and I'm like, well, you know what? If it's brand new in there, it's probably worth picking up. And yeah, I looked it up, and $70 brand new. <laughs> Unfortunately, not new. So it was selling for like $10 to $15 pre-owned plus shipping. For $7.99, I'm not dealing with that. What else do we have on this shelf? Up here, I spot this coffee maker. I think it might have been brand new, but they wanted $24.99. It's just like a basic coffee maker you can get those for about that price at walmart thought these were sony sports but they were minion headphones and uh, i'm not sure what this black and decker thing was i meant to look at that more i thought it was a bread maker at first that could have been worth picking up perhaps this cnc unfortunately 
I meant to look that up too. I don't know why I just didn't put it in my cart. I tell people to put stuff in their carts. <laughs> and here I am not putting it in the cart. I just, I forgot about it. I walked through this aisle like four times just seeing if I missed anything. So I think somebody might have grabbed that. Uh, so I, I'm mad at myself because I thought I just found one at Salvation Army that was broken that was worth about $40, an old C and say. Thought that doll might have been American Girl doll was not. Spot this old Dino. Is that it? Dino? Don't sound right. Dino from Flintstones or Dino. I don't know now. It's been a long time since I've saw that show. Uh, but yeah, it was five bucks though. I just, you can make a little bit of money maybe. That's probably a long tail. I like to pick that kind of stuff up. Those plushes for like 50 cents at a yard sale. Then it makes it worth it. Uh, $5 at a Goodwill, no thank you. A lot of their plush was $5, but a lot of it's just not very good stuff. Looking at all these board games, there's a lot to look through. I found some sealed games, some safety game, I guess, maybe for a, a company or something. <laughs> safety awareness game. Wasn't worth picking up. Uh, what else do we got? We had another learning game, wasn't worth picking up. Some other stuff that was priced too high or damaged. I did end up picking up a game here. Out of all that stuff I was looking at, I only picked up that one game, unfortunately. But we got some decent finds here at this new Goodwill we're at. And uh, what do we got on the shelf? Got a US Robotics, what is that, modem, 56K. I looked it up, wasn't really worth selling. There's a guy on there that has about 14 or 15 of those in stock, trying to sell them for $30. It doesn't look like they're moving. That Golden Tea game, plug and play, that's worth picking up, but it was priced too high. Um, I think $20 or something like that. I guess Goodwill thought it was like an actual system. Uh, we got some crock pots. We got that, was that Betty G crock pot over there. You can make some money on that. Kind of long tail again. One sold for 40 plus shipping. Crock pots are big. They're usually dirty. You got to clean them. They're a pain to deal with. So, you know, I just left it. Not going to spend $20. Maybe it was like, I don't know how much it was actually. I don't remember. This, another thing, if it was new, it would have been over $100. And this was just priced a little bit too high. Used, they sell for between $30, $40. Maybe you can get $45 if all the attachments are there. But when they're priced too high, you just got to walk away. Look for the next deal. Look at the toys. I spot this board game unique i don't remember ever seeing it before so we put that in the cart to look up wasn't worth picking up uh so it was like ten dollars on amazon i believe there's a rhino uh we got some horses checking to see if they're briar or schleich uh, i think there's one schleich horse uh but it was a dollar 99 had some damage actually this morning i just sold about 15 or 16 schleich animal figures for 69.99 plus shipping uh, I got those at a yard sale for five dollars last year and they're listed for probably about five months and uh, finally sold for seventy dollars here's a controller uh, I think that's for what a Wii Wii U um, but it's an off-brand power a plus the joystick was damaged <laughs> so we ended up not buying that no real money. There's a couple My Little Pony items. I did end up picking up one that looked like I could make some money. I uh, got some decent shoe deals, though, in that Goodwill. Uh, at this Goodwill, we are looking on the shelves and hopefully finding something. There's some more quick set stuff. These are very basic, $2.99. I don't think there's any money in them if they're a uh, smart lock type. What is it? The bronze color, the, the blackish color. Uh, those can be do, do pretty well, but those are just like closet or basic bedroom doorknobs. I made a lot of money selling doorknobs. <laughs> I always find good clearance, it seems like. Still looking on these shelves. There's an under the cabinet unit. I really only pick up Sony's, and usually if they have the remote for those, sell them on Amazon, you can get some decent money. Picked up one recently for five bucks at a uh, church rummage sale. So there's a bar of soap. <laughs> always look at soap if it's discontinued certain brands uh, i've sold soap for 50 dollars for a bar of soap so definitely something to look out for cranium caribou island game still there missing pieces pretty damaged there's a clue vintage game i looked that up 
recently at another Goodwill, and I thought that was going to be worth something, but really not. Like, really not worth dealing with having to count the pieces and selling it on eBay. Uh, Amazon didn't look promising. Looking through the dolls, Barbie dolls, and I'm just looking to see if there's any, uh, like, ones with clothing or anything unique or anything I can tell that's old. I don't know much about them at all. But here's a sealed Duplo set, Lego, and I thought, hey, that's got to be good. Some of these have been great. Here's a sealed Sesame Street's figures. This was actually surprisingly good. Uh, the Duplo I put back, though, because they just weren't selling. Um, well, they were selling great. They're just selling for about $15 on Amazon, and Goodwill one is $7 for them, so not worth it. There's a brand new, like, little portable chess checkers game. Nothing. There's a little, another My Little Pony. I only look up My Little Pony if they're kind of unique, but, you know, yeah. We ended up picking up a couple things in this Goodwill. Um, some huge New Balance sandals and that Sesame Street thing, but pretty good haul today. Let me show you what I ended up getting. You know what time it is. It's time to go over the haul. We got a decent one here. Let's just start with the garage sale stuff I got today. Not a whole lot of garage sales going on, unfortunately. But we got some books. We got some Harry Potter books. It was it last week? A couple weeks ago, I picked up the whole collection at a rummage sale for 50 cents a piece. Unfortunately, I had to pay $20 for these. I asked the lady if she would do take 20 for all of them they had them five dollars a piece she said okay so yeah i can make a little bit of money on these i already have the two books that are missing so that's good in the end i'm only going to make about 25 dollars. but these books sell well and they're in great condition i did check to see if the sorcerer's stone was first edition it for unfortunately it was not also got the infernal devices book set here this was selling on amazon uh, i believe I forget how much exactly, but I remember the, the profit was $15. And I picked up a couple Craftsman battery chargers. One was 25 cents. The other was 50 cents. I'm not sure why. They sell for about $20 a piece. You know, in the end, after shipping, I make about $10 a piece on them. Thrifting stuff was pretty good. I got this My Little Pony figure. Uh, it looked unique to me. I think I paid $2.99 for it. It's selling for about $20, so in the end, we can make some money. This is easy to list. I say it all the time. I'm trying to buy things. I can just list quickly, flip quickly, and this is just one of them. Awesome find at Salvation Army. Phase 10 dice. I've mentioned this before in my videos that it's a, a bolo item to look out for. The last one I found of these, I sold for about $70 on Amazon. Unfortunately, there's no listing for it now. Amazon purged a lot of game and toy listings. That's okay because it's still selling for great money on eBay. It's not in the greatest shape, but you know what? I can still sell this minimum $50 on there. I paid $2.99 for this game as well. The price is right. Restricted on Amazon. Unfortunately, the brand is the Endless Games. Brand new sealed on eBay. I can sell this for $14.99 plus shipping. Again, just something that's quickly easy to list. Then I paid $3.99 for this Bermuda Triangle game, Vintage. I looked it up on eBay, and sure enough, some of these are selling for $30 plus shipping, $25 plus shipping in good condition. This one is in pretty good condition. I opened it up. All the pieces look to be in there. I have to do a full count here soon. Uh, hopefully, they're all in there. If not, I can return it. But even missing a couple pieces, I noticed these were selling for $15, $20. I'll price this $30 plus shipping. We'll get it moved, sold, make some money. I picked up this brand new Fabriware Edge Keeper knife. I couldn't find it anywhere on eBay or Amazon. However, another Edge Keeper knife similar sold for $25. It looks like it's probably a discontinued style or model, the Edge Keeper series. I don't know for sure though. Either way, I'm going to price this $24.99 and I think I'll get a sale eventually. Got the Sesame Street figures brand new for $5.99. Kind of surprised they weren't on Amazon, but they were selling on eBay, uh, I think $40 I saw, $39.99 plus shipping, uh, some more around $25, $30, dollars so pretty good, they're in great condition, made by Play School, so yeah, I think we'll make some good profit on those. Back here we got some grab bags, I got these Sony adapters, they're actually for an 8mm camcorder it seems. And one of them was selling for about $35, $40. The other one, I think about $20. It's even got the car hookup in there for it. So should make some good money. I'm thinking at least $50 on these. Paid $5.99. Back here, we got some Wii stuff. We got like the Wii Nerf tennis racket and junk like that. I don't really want. 
However, there is a controller in there, two nunchucks, and the Motion Plus attachment, which is what I really wanted because I need one right now. $6.99 is what I paid for. It also has a Wii Sports uh, booklet in there. Unfortunately, no Wii Sports game. But last week in my Wii lot at a yard sale, I got a Wii Sports, so I'll just throw that with it. Not really going to make money on this stuff. It's just to add to other Wiis and other sets that I got. And right here, uh, I think I paid $5.99 for this. It is an Xbox Connect in there. There's like a webcam, some cables, uh, some other things. Uh, I just bought it for the Xbox 360 Connect. They've went down in value. I should have looked them up maybe. Uh, looks like I could probably sell this for about $30 on Amazon. You know, with the rest of the stuff and what I paid for it, you know, I'm pro I'll just estimate $15 profit in there. I picked up some awesome signs at Salvation Army. I don't know how old they are. I don't think they're that old. But it's the cleanest John Deere sign. It was only $3.99. It is very heavy. And you can see the back there. That's why I don't think it's old. I don't know much about signs. Here's another one. McCormick sign sold here. Pretty cool. This one's metal too. And that was $3.99. So I picked them up. If anyone wants to let me know the values of these, I don't know what these can sell for. Uh, the newer ones um, or how old they, you think they actually are. Uh, but I wasn't going to leave them there. I mean, I would imagine at least you could sell this John Deere sign for $20 plus shipping. Uh, minimum because it's just very nicely made very clean we picked up some awesome shoe deals i got these new balance sandals these things are big size 16 4e which is why i bought them otherwise they wouldn't really be worth picking up they're actually really clean but there is a spot on the back of the heel here which i think is going to be okay i might be able to even get it out uh, just buying them to sell for the size. I should be able to sell those for about $29.99 plus shipping picked up a couple pairs of nike and salvation army uh, I don't remember the style name of these, but they were surprisingly selling for pretty good money. I think some up into the 50s. They're very clean. However, there is a little tear here, uh, but I still think they're going to sell pretty well. And then these right here, they're actually half off. $7.99. I'm not sure why they were half off, because I'm pretty sure they just put these out. And yeah, they're pretty clean. Paid $4 for them, so it looked like the comps were right around $30 to $40. And then we have an amazing pair of shoes here. Solomon's, I've talked about those shoes before. The brand, they have some high-end stuff. $5.99 at Goodwill. They are extremely clean. Don't look like they've been worn much at all. And new, these things sell for about $140 up to $160. I don't even think there's any pre-owned for sale right now. But I did see that a pair pre-owned sold for $65 plus shipping. So you know what? I think I'll just price them $64.99 plus shipping. I did not need to buy this Merrill coat uh x dry but it's a great brand and it fits me so you know what that just encourages me to buy it i couldn't find this exact one on ebay but it does look like a black one similar to this sold for 35 dollars plus shipping pre-owned i still don't know if i'm going to sell it or keep it i'm probably just going to sell it there wasn't a lot of yard sales today unfortunately next week though there's like two or three community sales, so it's going to be a busy weekend. Still, we just ended up going thrifting, and we're going to make some great profit on this stuff when it sells. Before you go, everybody, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button for me. Be subscribed. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. I really appreciate you watching. This has been Wick. Till next time.